Hello mga bes and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you to one of the most famous and extraordinary shrines in Japan. Very unique talaga sa mga bes and I'm sure magugulat kayo sa mga naglalakihan at nagtitigas ang nakikita nyo. Tara, samahan nyo ako. Be mindful that Jinja or Shrine is a place of worship in Japan. So we need to follow yung rituals na ginagawa nila sa paggamit nito. Una dyan, we need to stop in front of the gate. Bawat tayo ng isang beses and take the first step with your left foot. Uh, they also believe that the center line is reserved for the God. So mas maganda na sa gilid tayo dumaan pero hindi ko siya ginawa. Pasaway lang. <laughs> and then close to the entrance gate, you will see a water basin like this one. Um, it's called Chozuya or Temizuya in Japanese. And they use this for cleaning the hands and mouth of those visiting the shrine. Normally, they use ladles here or yung pangsalok, but because of the pandemic, in-stop muna nila yun kasi delikado. Wala siyang iniwan sa holy water ng Philippines. And maybe sa next vlog ko, papakita ko guys kung paano siya ginagamit or ginagawa dito. So, abangan nyo yun. Tagata Shrine is also famous for its penis festival. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, the event was cancelled this year. Pero abangan natin siya next year, mga besh. Baka matuloy na siya ulit. Babalitaan ko kayo. Hey guys, so dito ako nakakayo before ng 2017, wala pang pandemya, bago pa lang ako sa Japan and super daming tao dito before. Like siguro 70% mga Japanese, 30% mga foreigners kasi nang dami-dami. And dati binabato pa nila yung mochi doon, tapos sasaluhin mo siya libre lang ganun. Dahil nga nagka-corona, so bawal muna. And wala muna ng festival. So dasal-dasal lang muna tayo dito habang hinahawakan siya. <laughs> People in Japan typically visit shrines for a specific purpose and yung purpose na pag-visit nila dito ay for fertility. That's the reason why uh, there are lots of phalluses or penises everywhere. Hindi lang yun, um, they also pray for a bountiful harvest and growth in all living things. Itong mga brown objects na nakasabit are called Emma and dyan nila sinusulat yung mga wishes nila. This is also a popular form of prayer dito sa Japan. So if you go visit shrines, mas madalas mo silang makikita sa harapan. Nowadays, you can find Emma in different shapes and designs. May heart, may star, may hugis hayop, may anime pangaraw yung iba. And trivia lang sa mga taong nagtataka, bakit ang daming hugis ari ng lalaki dyan? Well, uh, mga besh, those man-made objects were were actually offered by the people na natupad na yung wish. And yung mga phalluses or pinises na nasa loob ng shrine, uh, they are also considered as offerings or alay sa mga Diyos nila. So what they have been doing is pinapahiram nila yon sa mga taong nangangailangan like mga taong may sakit or for those couples o tao na gustong magka-baby. And kapag natupad yung wish nila, the objects were then returned to the shrine together with a new phallic symbol. So kailangan may nota ka ring dala kapag binalik mo yung henera mo as a token of gratitude. So ngayon, Alam nyo na.
I hope you guys learned something today and sana nag-enjoy kayo. So for more videos like this, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So mga besh, hanggang sa muli, paalam!